I will talk about a little bit about this product suite. The product suite is actually containing four parts. The project 2010 product suit contains four parts. One is project is project standard, second is project professional, third is project server and the project web access. Now project standard and project professionals are more or less same. The differences of few features plus project professional has the capability to connect to the project server. While project standard is totally standalone. Now our scope of this workshop is limited to project standard and project professional. Okay, some features which are not in standard, they are in professional, we are going to cover those parts. Now what is project server? Project server is a background background server project server which which when project server is implemented we say it's a enterprise project management suite means you can publish your project on the project server anyone can do in the organization project server collect your data and distribute it to the team members depending upon their allocation and collaborate between the project managers team members among team members and there are lot of other facility not only the uh, publishing the project plan but also collaborating in the project so you publish the project plan depending upon the location it will send out emails to all the team members that what is assigned to them give a facility through the web access to submit the timesheet which will go to go back to this through this to project professional to get the actual data and you can measure the you can uh, actually measure actual versus plan and the second thing is a collaboration platform where you can manage your risk manage your issues you can share files you can um, manage your meetings you can maintain your mom and several other things so that's a collaboration part also and this is how and wave access is actually providing the facility for collaborating submitting timesheet and doing a subset of project professional okay any questions so far Now it is the time to move to the project tool, MS project tool and see how it looks like and what are the different features or basic things which will help us to start off with this project. So it looks like like any other office application. It has a ribbon. The ribbon is like which categorize the different commands into different categories so all the task based commands are in the task tab all the resource related commands are in the resource tab all the commands which are goes across these projects or are connected to the projects are in project tab view are very important in ms project because there are lot of data which get calculated every time you make a change in the project and not all the information you can see at, a, at one point of time therefore different view will give you different data or different presentation of the or different angle of the of the project and therefore there are several views and those views will give you different different information and a format will help us to better present this data outside or we for us also now when we come to the view we see that normally normally the views are divided into two portion the left hand portion is a table the right hand portion is either a graph or a time phase data i will show you that what do, what i mean by time phase data
So this is a table and this is a graph. Now let to show that how it looks like in different uh, as different uh, views. Let me open a project. Say suppose this project. So Gantt chart looks like this. Left hand side there is some information, the task information, the duration, the start time, end time, predecessors, some resources which are assigned to it. And the right hand side is a graph. Now if I switch this view to a task This is called task uses view. You see right hand side is no more a graph. It is no more a graph. But it, it gives us time phase data. The allocation, allocation is done for every resource. It's like on Tuesday how it looks like. So how this, like these are 24 hours, how they are distributed, 8 hours on this date, 8 hours on this date, 8 hours on this date. So this gives us the time phase data. So either right hand side is a time phase data or a graph. Right? And but some views are there which have only one view. There is no two part. So go back to the get chart. And if I move to the network diagram, it gives us a dependency chart. Now it shows that which task is dependent on what. You can, you can zoom in, you can zoom out using this. So these are not critical, they are critical. So network diagram will also show us the critical path which MS project always calculate and show you. So there is, we also just saw this task uses. Basically there are three things in MS project. One is the task which you can see in the can chart. This is a list of tasks and some some attributes of those tasks. Yeah, some tasks and some attributes. This is a Gantt chart. If you double click on any of this row, it opens up a dialog box with a name called task information. Right? So this is all about tasks. The second thing which is important in MS project is the resources. So either we go to the resource sheet from here. If you are not able to see it, uh, let me tell you if you, okay. there is a view bar here. If you see like this, then right click and see view bar, then it will come. So either I will or see, use this quick views Sheet. Resource sheet contains list of all the resources and their attributes. What are their availability, what are the rates, how they how their rates will be calculated, and their name and the type of it. So if you double click on any of this row, you will get a dialog box which is called resource information. So first one was task information, second is resource information. So I said the three things important. First is task information, second is resource, and third is marriage of task and resources. That is the joining or assignment 
of resource on the task which is a task uses view so what is the task uses view if you see here you have a task and resources assigned to it you have a task and resources assigned to it you have a task resource assigned to it now when i click on this resource it means it will open up a dialog box of assignment information assignment means gen general contractor on sign contract and notice to proceed so it's an assignment of general contractor to sign contract and notice to proceed if i click on this this is a different assignment though the resource is same this is the assignment of general contractor on finalize plan and develop estimates with owner architect if you click double click on this task it doesn't know where you want to associate so it will open up a task information but here if you click on architect it knows that it is associated with this so it open up some task information assignment okay the reverse of task uses is the resource uses in this task come first then the resources come in the resource uses view oh uh, vivek vivek sorry sorry to interrupt yeah vivek go ahead earlier sorry to interrupt uh, in the general contractor when you click on it what is that 50% units yeah the is, one units yeah it is assigned 50% general contractor is only 50% allocated to this task that means work 80 hours is only 40 hours or is no, it going no, no, to no. only work half the day half day, half the day it work half day you will work half the day for 80 hours in that duration is it right so 4 hours a day it will go to 20 days okay thank you right and the which is but if i click on this it will open up a resource because it doesn't know whom to connect with okay so task in for task uses and resource uses are the assignment views basically gantt chart i normally say it a task view and resource sheet i would say normally a resource view now besides this we have a, we have a, a like a network diagram we have a calendar view also which which is sometime helpful because it shows allocation of task on a calendar so if i want to see how my project calendar looks like i can come to this and see that what is assigned where now this is a weekly view i can change this to month view or this is a month view basically i can change it to week view so only 5 days will come i can change it to month view the whole month will come okay or you can customize it also another you another uh, view which would be useful here there are several views we will use them the red one is critical path and non and blues are not non critical activities and it also shows us the baseline so when we do a baseline the baseline will come under it 
just under it. So you will see two bars all the time in the tracking and chart. And the baseline will show pictorially that how much we are deviating from the baseline. So if it if shifted from the base, if it shift gets shifted from baseline, you can you can visually see that they are the table. go to the Gantt chart. Now in Gantt chart you see that duration start and finish. But if I want to know how much is the effort of this work. These are duration not the efforts. So what I will do I will go to the view. Go to the table. You see there is a table. Here. You can come and see that I go to the work table. Now work table will change the columns. So now you the information in, in front of you is different. Right hand side remains as it is. If I I can go to the cost table and see that. any total cost, the baseline cost, the variance from the baseline, actual cost as of now remaining how much going to be spent after now from today, today onwards. If I want to see the dates, I can go to the variance table. You see it shows us the start date, finish date as of today baseline start and baseline finish and the variance of the start and finish from the baseline that is the start variance and the finish variance. If you go to schedule table you can also see the slack. If you don't know slack we will cover up later. Slack is a free time is a called float also is a free time available on any activity by which if it is delayed, it will not impact the project end date. And all the okay. Now we go to the. We can have other things also. So this way you can change by default it is the table tables also by adding columns. If I click on this to our work, I select this and I add columns as I want. Right. So this is and you have some highlights, some filters, some groups. We will talk about them a bit later. But these come over here. Okay, you can see only two, three column here, but all other details you can see here. You can change this view also by right click here and select if you want to see schedule, you want to see work, you want to see cost, note or some other things. So if you change this, you also the load is started coming cost is started, the cost part that this table has changed to cost. Should you do the work. 
right? So this is a little uh, introduction to Microsoft project, something about project management and how, what contribution of where MS project is playing into project management framework.